In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a cookie banner for your website using Elementor's pop-up feature. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to use Elementor pop-up to create a cookie consent uh, pop-up on the website that kind of shows up in the footer of the site. Uh, and the way that we do that is we are going to go to Elementor, uh, sorry, templates, pop-ups. And again, you could do this with a plugin, but when I just keep it all to Elementor, less to load, uh, I think it's a much more efficient process to do it that way. Uh, so we're going to, and Elementor lets you do actually quite a few things with pop-ups. So we're going to go to add new. We're going to name this a cookie footer message pop-up. And we're going to click on create template. Now, once the library loads, uh, you're going to click on the X button here to close out of it because we want to make sure we design it uh, the way that we want it. So we are going to go to the bottom left of the site. We're going to click on settings. And then here is kind of where the magic happens. We are going to want to uh, just, just put a heading first, actually, into Builder. Here we go. Uh, I found out that sometimes when you don't do that, you'll have the, the window that you're working with be actually very really tiny and it's very hard to see. So this is kind of an easy way to get started. All right, let's go back to settings. We are going to now choose, we want this window or this uh, pop-up to go 100% of the site because we want it to be on the footer. So we're going to go viewable with 100%. And then now you'll see that the, that the pop-up is now 100% of the screen. We're going to the height right now for the pop-up we're going to just uh, ignore for now because we don't really need to worry about that so we're just going to fit to content. But the one thing that we do have to do is make sure that the position is the bottom. This will make sure that the pop-up stays at the bottom as you can see here. So that's kind of what we want. Uh, we don't want an overlay on this page because we want the page to look just the same when somebody loads into it. Uh, but we do want a close button, so we're going to leave that alone. Entrance animation, you can leave it default, but you know if you, if you want to call more attention to it, you can by using the built-in animation features that pop-up gives you. Sorry, that Elementor gives you. All right, we're going to go to general settings, make sure that we're happy with everything here. And I think everything here looks good, so we're going to leave it the way it is. And there's no dynamic content, so we don't have to worry about that for now. Let's go into the style section. And here, I actually do want to call it a call it out a little bit. Um, so we're going to choose a, a different background color. We're going to choose green. And I think that's all we really need to do here in the pop-up settings. The close button, we're going to change it to white just so it stands out a little bit more. We want to make sure we have a contrast and we're going to give it a little bit of, uh, let's actually make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it 20. I think that's a good size. So at least it's visible but it's not huge. Uh, usually when I do just a regular pop-up, I do like to make it a little bit bigger. All right, so that's good. For now, we're going to leave this pop-up settings alone. We'll go back to it in a second. All right, so let's start building the, the actual messaging here. So we're going to say, let me just grab, I have some copy here that I put together. It's a little bit easier. So we're going to make the heading say, this website is using cookies. And we're going to make that white. And let's just make the size a little bit smaller. There we go. We're going to use 24. And we don't need it to be that bold. So we're just going to choose normal for us. It's fine for now. And then let's just add some, some messaging as well. So we're going to use this copy here. And we're going to make that white as well. Okay, we're going to now add the two buttons. We're going to add two buttons to the page. All right, one to learn more and one to agree to the consent. So we're going to hit continue. We're going to make this a continue. And we're going to leave it with orange. And then we're going to have another button. And that one's going to say learn more. So learn more. And we want these buttons to be fairly small because we don't want, again, this is already looking kind of large. So there's a few things that we can do to kind of make this look a little bit better. 
So I'll just do that real quick. We're going to choose an inner section. And if you're using reflex, if you're working with Flexbox, that's fine too. Um, we're going to use an inner section here and we're going to move the buttons to the right. Okay. There we go. Um, and then we're going to move the texts together here. See how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Still a little large for my taste, so let's make the text a little bit smaller. Let's try 14. I think that's pretty good. And we're going to make this a little larger. So it looks a little bit better. And then we're going to... Let's align the buttons to the right and see what happens. Oops. Let's align the buttons to the right. Ooh, kind of like that. Let's maybe do that instead. All right, that looks really good. I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. And then add some padding around this one. So it's not so large to the right. So let's add 5%. Is that ten percent? All right, I think that looks really good. Um, make this a tiny bit bigger. Twenty-six. Just so it doesn't look as big as this. And this, this is an extra small. Perfect, the extra small. Let's use the extra small version of the buttons as well, and then make those align center. So we're gonna go to columns, and we're gonna put middle. Make sure those are, yeah, those are in the center. Okay, it's looking actually really good. So this is our cookie, uh, our cookie uh, footer. We're going to hit publish, and then we're going to add a condition. And want to make sure we put that on the entire site. We're going to let's just put next. Oops, actually, let's go back and put it to happen on load. All right. This is us. This is going to allow us to kind of test and make sure that we kind of like the way that it looks. I mentioned this in the past in other videos, but I do like to uh, test when I'm working on something. I like to create a test page and then under display conditions, I like to just choose that page by choosing singular and then pages and then choosing the page called test. That way it doesn't affect everybody on the website as they're visiting. But because this is just uh, to show you guys, we can go ahead and do that normally. All right, so we're going to go to the website and here's the website using cookies uh, message, as you can see. It's already loaded. Somebody can hit X to close that out. Or if we want to get rid of that and just force them to choose one of these options, we could do it as well. So let's go. Let's do that right now. So let's get rid of the X. And we're going to go to general settings. And then, oops, not general settings. It would be here on the layout. We're not going to show the X button. We're going to hit update. All right, and we're going to refresh the page. All right, so now you have the the footer in the bottom. You have the two buttons. You have the X, and then but now when you click on this, nothing happens. So we got to solve solve that. So let's start with the Learn More button. The way that we want what we want to do here is just take them to a page or a privacy policy page or whatever. I don't know if I have one set up here, but essentially you would just link to it here. So for our purposes, we're just going to take them to Google. Okay, so if they want to learn more about privacy, they can go to Google. All right, so that's it. We hit update, and that, that would change that. Now, to, in order for somebody to close this um, pop-up and not show it to them again, you could do that actually within Elementor as well. So select the Continue button. We're going to go into the Link Options. So we're going to go into the pop-up options. And then we're going to choose under Actions Pop-Up. Then we're going to click on the little wrench here. And under the Settings, we're going to say Close Pop-Up and then Don't Show Again. So they already accepted the cookie, so we don't need to do that. Uh, show them the pop-up again. We're going to hit Update. And then we're going to go back to the website. And let's test out these two links. So Learn More takes you to Google. And Continue closes the pop-up. Now let's refresh the page. And now the pop-up no longer shows up. So that's how you do a cookie um, message footer in Elementor. 
And that's how simple it is to create a cookie banner for the bottom of your website using Elementor's built-in pop-up feature. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Oh, no!